respect to trainer Kenny Adams here at the Mayweather Boxing Club. Um, your fighter, Sharif Boguer, uh, came up a little short in his fight, Richard Abril, for the title. Uh, what are your thoughts reflecting on that fight? Um, I didn't feel, what I really felt like more than anything else was that he didn't quite do all the things that we wanted him to do. But in the fact of that, that happening is that I wasn't pleased with him at the referee and the job either because I felt like this guy did enough holding and using his form enough that it should have been a possible disqualification that are more points should have been deducted. I counted, looking at the tape, there was about 10 different occasions he was given cautions or warning and only one point was deducted. But anyway, besides all that, I, I, I'm not complaining about that. Uh, I, I looked at the fight completely. And I thought we lost it 14 to 12 without a doubt. Uh, but I also noticed that somewhere around the last or sixth round or seventh round, I saw Sharif after he came out one of the clinches, he was hobbling. A bit. So having noted that, I started looking at it and paying attention. And so now I know also that his Achilles was not healed properly. So, okay. and it's, it, what it happened all the time was postponements that it happened. What it happened, we kept jumping back and forth, and we all really thought he was well enough because he was looking outstanding in the gym, really looking great. Hey, he's over more right. okay. So we, in, in seeing that, we thought everything was was in, was in order. But I think what really happened was that about the sixth or the seventh round, that is Keely giving him problems subconsciously. He couldn't, that's why he couldn't move to the right, okay. get away from the right hand, which that was the way we were working anyway. Our goal was always move right, jab him, stab him to the body, right hand to the chest, pivot, hook him, and keep turning him. But it couldn't happen because later around, he couldn't move to the right because the left leg didn't allow him to push out on his right to get to his, to his position. But like I said, we didn't make no excuses about it. Hey, uh, also, we hope to do better next time, that's all. Richard Abril, would you want a rematch with him, or is his style so ugly and awkward that you'd rather fight someone else? We'd rather fight somebody else, I'm going to be honest. Because he's, he's going to be an ugly, he's gonna be an ugly guy for anybody to fight. No matter who he fights, it's going to be ugly, period. It's just, uh, it just, it just the nature of the beast. It's going to be ugly. Do any names at 135 stand out to you? I mean, what do you think of that division? I like the, I like the well... Uh, I like the Burns, uh, probably to fight him or the Vasquez. When the opportunity comes to our point, I'd like to do that. But the guy that they, they need to watch out for in the 135-pound weight class, the guy that just fought this weekend, I used to train him early on. What's that? Terrence Crawford. Oh, That's really? That's who you need to watch out for. You used to train him? Yes, I did. What are your thoughts on his win over Prescott? Well, I, I mean, he did what he had to do. I mean, he... Really and truly, he, the young man can be a good little fighter. He just, you know, he just need, he's got to do or learn to do other, some other things. But otherwise, I, I like what he did. Took uh, care of sorry, go ahead. Um, another guy, 135, Adrian Broner's moving up to fight Pauli Malinaji. What do you think of that fight? I, my, I think he knocks probably stop Malinaji. Really? Possibility to stop it. I think. You don't. I, I like Broner. Broner's a hell of a little fighter. Are you concerned about the HBO and, uh, it, you know, they're not working with Golden Boy and then there's a top-ranked Golden Boy feud that you might not be able to get the matches you want down the road? Well, I'm hoping that something like that should hope it doesn't happen, but that's the way the ball rolls, probably. Okay. Uh, it's probably going to be that, to that effect. But once again, you got you got two other promoters, the uh, Vasquez people slash the Burns people are different promotional people, so maybe maybe there's opportunity, but we don't know when we're going to get a shot. Uh, went to the doctor this morning with Sharif. Uh, he's going to probably have to have, have operation. Okay. Um, everybody here in the gym, you know, they're looking forward to Floyd Mayweather's fight with Robert Guerrero. What, what do you think of that fight? It's a tough fight. I think it's a tough fight. I think, I think it's a tough fight because Guerrero is a guy that went in nuts and bolts. He's uh, going to be in the fight for a long, long time. And, and I know I've seen Mayweather for a long, long time. I also think I think that he has he has I think he had a few 
problems with some left handers. And so and knowing that, noting that, could could be a long night. Okay, thanks a lot, kid. All right.